I got the 4K Walmart streaming box. It was just released last week. This is the brand new one. So this device goes by the name of the Orn 4K Pro streaming device. So this device is packed with tons and tons of features. This device comes with 4K quality. It comes with Google TV interface operating system. It comes with a quad core processor, which means it has tons of speed, two gigahertz. It's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest either. This device also comes equipped with three gigs of RAM. This device also comes with 32 gigabytes of storage. So, so that's plenty of device storage to be able to save tons and tons of apps and maybe even some movies. So also on the back of this device, it does come equipped with an Ethernet port, a HDMI port, a USB port, and an AC adapter port. Also, not only does this device have all of those features, it has additional built-in mic built into the actual device itself. Also, this device does come equipped with you being able to access over 10,000 plus apps and over 800 plus live TV channels, but this can be increased to up to 1,400 live TV channels on the live TV guide directly on the home screen of the Google TV interface experience. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the previous model on 4K streaming box compared to the on 4K Pro streaming box. So the bigger device is, of course, the newer device is much more beefier. It does feel a little bit more quality. You have multiple different ports on the backhand side of it compared to the original model, the previous model. It does have a mic button on the right-hand side of the device to turn on and off. Also with the remotes, you will notice that the remotes are definitely the same. So also with the remotes, I thought we were gonna get an upgraded remote with the backlit experience. When you click on the buttons, the buttons light up in the nighttime. So we don't have that feature. And then I thought we were gonna have a dedicated free live TV button. We didn't have that big button, but we did get the option to have a live TV TV guide button. So if you click on that button, it will take you to the free live TV channels immediately. So what came with this device, you had the manual at the very top, you had the on 4K Pro streaming box directly underneath that, and then you had the HDMI cord, you had the batteries for the remote, the remote itself, and then you had the AC adapter. So that's what's packed into this box. So I definitely like that this does feel like quality, and let's go ahead and and dive into the user interface. So I just turned it on and this is what it looks like for the first time. So I'm just gonna walk you through the steps really quick and then we'll see what the interface is like. So I'm gonna click on the English button, United States, set up a Google Home app. I'm gonna click on set up as TV because I don't have my phone at the moment. I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi. All right, it says we're connected, so it's gonna advance us to the next step. All right, so it looks like immediately we're receiving updates for this device. It says streaming device, 4K Pro, Google TV, launch update. So I'm gonna give this a moment, and then we'll pick up on the next screen. All right, so I went through that update. It completed, and now it came back up, and now it's asking me to put in my Google account information. So let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, so once you log into your Google account and authenticate it with your phone, all you have to do is click on the accept button. It brings you to the next page, which is the terms of service. You just click on the accept button and proceed. You wanna click on the accept and you can turn these off, these other items off if you wanted to. If so, if you don't want it to track your location, you can uncheck that box and you can turn it off. If you don't mind them tracking your location, you can keep it checked and then you can go ahead and proceed. I hit accept. Do you wanna stay in the no? I'll opt out of this, so I'll hit no thanks. Google Assistant is on this device, so if you ever need to find shows, movies, etc., you can just ask Google Assistant and it will assist with that. Let's click continue. So if you wanted to enable the Google Assistant to be able to find various different TV shows or movies in, in between certain apps, you you would just continue to allow this and it will be able to search across all of your TV apps that you have installed. So I'll click allow for a better TV experience. It wants me to choose my services. I have Disney Plus, Max, and that's all I'll choose. I'll go ahead and add Tubi and that will be it. Now, all right, use your TV hands-free with Google Assistant. So once again, this device is equipped with a mic built into the top of the device itself, and we can speak directly into that 
top of the device or we can speak directly into the remote. So it wants us to set up the remote for the volume. If you wanted to adjust the remote for the volume, just click on setup remote, TV, soundbar, or AV receiver. I have a TV, so I would click on TV. I would swipe through the options available, find my brand of TV. Once you've found your brand of TV, just select that option and click on the next button. And then it wants me to point this to my device to see if I've heard volume. I'll hit next. Now it wants me to do the power. So I'll power off. Did the power button work? It's, you can say yes. On streaming 4K Pro remote is set up. Click on next. It says setting up your Google TV, 0% complete. So it's gonna install those apps as well. And then this should complete in just about a minute or so. So it's adding the finishing touches and then we should be welcomed into the Google TV experience. It says Google TV in the top right hand corner. It says your Google TV experience is ready. Let's go ahead and start exploring. If you're not familiar with Google TV, it does come equipped with a lot of cool features. If you've never used Google TV, you will notice at first glance, it does have a lot less ads compared to the Amazon Fire TV where you have these huge banners that just pop up, you know, blind you before you can even start browsing your content. So Google TV, this is equipped with 800 plus live TV channels straight out of the box on this device and it will be increasing to 1400 plus live TV channels. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So another thing you will notice, Google TV doesn't go and call their home tab the home tab. It's called a for you section. You will see a lot of recommended content in here from various different subscriptions you subscribe to. If you drop down, you'll see your apps. You'll see every app that you should have um, straight out of the box like Max, Tubi, Hulu, Disney Plus, Prime Video, Netflix, those are your basic standard apps. And then you can browse and add additional apps just by clicking. Also, you have your free live news TV stations. If you click on any one of these, it will be live and it'll show you the news. And they have tons of different cities to choose from. So they should have a major city next to where you live in the United States, at least. Um, so that should be a good variety of major cities to choose from then you're greeted with this top selling movies section where you can purchase movies you can see their ratings so their rotten tomato score to see if that movie is any good so i will say that's convenient where you can purchase items and you can browse items through different streaming services and then if we continue to cycle down we have popular movies and shows recommended videos from YouTube. We have this section called what do you feel like watching? We have four different categories, movies, shows, family, and Espanol. If we go back to the movies and just click on movies, this is what it's recommending. Tubi is a free ad supported streaming service. We have a recommendation from Disney Plus. We have a recommendation from Google TV, and then we have multiple different recommendations toward the bottom. So use that feature that can definitely come in handy if you're just trying to find something quick to watch. We also come to a recently uploaded section from YouTube. If we continue down, you have different categories and there's about 20 or so different rows of content to choose from. The next thing we have here is the live section, the live tab. Once again, this is equipped with 800 plus live TV channels and it's gonna be increased to 1400 plus live TV channels. And we have multiple different TV stations being delivered by Google TV. We have some different stations being delivered by Pluto TV, Tubi TV, Plex TV. A bunch of different free ad supported streaming services are synced together within this one live TV guide. They have different categories to choose from, popular, movies, news, local news, crime, hit TV shows, classics, reality, sports, tons of sports channels it says they have over 57 sports channels so you have nfl channel you have nhl cbs sports hq fox sports on tubi fox sports and the list goes on mlb pga the list goes on if you continue to cycle through here so the next tab that we have is the apps tab if we scroll down here we are greeted with the apps that we have installed on our device at the moment we can also search for apps so if we wanted to click on search for apps, if we wanted to click on search for apps, you can also use this mic button downloader. All right, so 
once I hit that mic button, it did ask me to enable the talk feature. So I did acknowledge that I do want to use the hands-free talk feature. So I'm just going to use it really quick to search for an app. Downloader. It's going to Results automatically for search for that app. And it's the first search result there. If we clicked on that, we can go ahead and start the install process and the download on that app. So you want to make sure that you're using the hands-free feature through the mic on the top of the physical streaming box, or you can use the mic built into the remote. Also, you have an apps category. You have entertainment. You have different various apps to choose from. These are the apps that it lists for entertainment. So not only do you have entertainment to choose from from categories, you have music and audio, you have video players and editors, tools, lifestyle, sports, and then you have apps from other devices. You have Redbox on the Google TV, Android box. You have Redbox available for you on these own boxes, whereas on the Amazon Fire TV, you don't have access to the Redbox unless you sideload it onto a Fire TV. So that's definitely a plus. You have Zumo Play, Pluto TV, YouTube Kids, all of the above. And then you have a featured section and you have a lot of different recommended content for you when it comes to different apps. So this library section is going to be where your purchases show up, where your rentals show up, where your favorited items that you've watched show up. So that's where all of that's going to show up for you once you start saving content for yourself or buying items on this device. So next section that we have is to the right hand side, we have the magnifying glass where you can search for any item that you want on this device. And then you have a gear icon, which symbolizes settings. You can change your different screen savers. If you just click the right arrow to the right, it will cycle to different screen savers. You have the location at the bottom left hand corner. You have the degrees and the weather on the right hand side, along with the time. And those are in 4K high definition. And then you have additional features, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, accessibility. If you wanted to update your remote, you can update it right there. If you wanted to click on these settings, just to drill down a little bit more, you have display and sound settings, network and internet settings, account and sign in settings. You have privacy settings, app settings. So that's where you would go to side load items and set those permissions. Then you have system you have remote and accessories, and then you have help and feedback. So that's the interface of this device. So if you wanted to check this device out, I'll leave the link in the description below, but you tell me what you think of this Walmart on 4k box. And if you're going to be getting one of these, if you already have one, tell me what you think. Let me know down in the comment section below, but thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.